Hello, hello. Welcome back to another legacy video. My name is Chris and today we are going to produce this base cabinet box. Now we're going to go through the full process pretty quick. So bear with me. We'll start off by taking our pre-designed kitchen cabinet project. We'll bring that into our cam software to program our tool pass for the CNC machine. We'll then go cut the parts out on our Gemini CNC and we'll finish things off by showing how fast and easy it is to assemble this base cabinet box. To kick things off, we're going to be looking at our cabinet project here in our CAD software. You can see how easy it is to drag and drop in designs, and we're going to export out one base cabinet instead of our entire kitchen. We'll then bring in those drawings into our CAM software. So we'll be focusing on the 3 quarter inch material. Once imported, we can nest all of our components on our 4x8 sheet. One of the best advantages of nesting your parts is that you have less waste material. To wrap things up, we'll generate the toolpath using toolpath templates. And we can save out this programming file and take it to our CNC machine so we can produce these parts. This demonstration is being shown on Legacy's 8-foot Gemini with Auto Tool Change. The first step is simply drilling the hole patterns for all of our components. Next we'll change the tool to an end mill that will cut all of the joinery necessary for these components. And last, a larger compression end mill is used to cut out the parts. For your viewing convenience, we lifted up the dust shoes so you can see the cutting take place. Once complete, we can take these parts and assemble them. Because the layout of this cabinet was designed in a specific way, watch how fast and easy it is to assemble this box. First, he had to countersink the back holes of the side panels. The drawer hardware is mounted in the pre-drilled holes. The qualified tenons that were cut make the alignment perfect for assembling the top, bottom, and side panels. Altogether, it only took 10 minutes to cut the parts out on the CNC and 10 minutes to assemble this box. Well, thank you for watching up to this point. Make sure to keep an eye out for a follow-up video where we'll produce the doors, the drawer boxes, and the drawer fronts for this base cabinet. Now, if you enjoyed this video, press that like button. And if you want to learn more about our legacy CNC machines, I recommend you jump over to our website, lwmcnc.com. To save you the trouble, just click the link right up there. Now to see more in action on the Gemini CNC that was used to produce this cabinet box, watch the Gemini walk around video by clicking the link right down there. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell icon so you receive email notifications every time we come up with a new video. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.